In the fourth video in this series, I'm going to show you how I make a speaker box or a speaker enclosure if necessary. You'll see that this is fairly time consuming and uh, doesn't come up with the best possible results. So if I can get a pre-made enclosure for the speaker that I want, I will. But here's how to do it. First, I have pieces cut out, the width, length, and uh, overall footprint of the speaker and uh, cut to the depth that I want. Now I put one side piece down on the wax paper on the cutting mat, move the speaker into position on that. Now looking from the other direction, you can see the speaker sitting there. I'm going to use a little bit of MEK to wick in there and uh, tack the pieces together. Okay, you see it wick right in there and we're ready. Okay, now we'll do the same thing with the rest of the sides of the speaker uh, and or the sides of the box, get them all in place. Why I like MEK for this sort of thing is that it sets up very, very quickly, wicks in, sets up quickly. It isn't necessarily uh, as strong as the Fowler Expert because it doesn't provide a, a fillet or a filling in between the, si uh, the two sides. But you see here, I'll just put a little bit of it right down the side of the speaker and just lay the side on top of it and give it, get it in position and just give it a few seconds to set up. Uh, literally, these things will set up in 10, 15 seconds. Uh, now, put the last side onto it. Uh, similarly, a little bit on the side of the speaker and just lay the side in place. Now, I'm going to uh, square this up with blocks, push the speaker up against the block and the side will be still just enough movable that it'll, uh, you can adjust it. Now here it is on top. You see there's some places that aren't uh, fully formed. So now I'm gonna put some Fowler Expert down the corners to create a fillet of glue uh, between the sides and uh, each other and the speaker being very careful not to get it on the speaker cone. By the way, just a tip on the Fowler Expert, it will dry in that uh, probe unless I keep it closed, and I keep it closed with a piece of beryllium copper wire. Now that we're done with this, I'll put some clamps on the speaker to hold it in position while it, the Fowler sets up, because it'll take a minute or so to really get strong and, and firm. So I got a fair amount of time to get these clamps in place and hold it all together. Then we're done with that. It's time to put the top on it and simply a little bit of, of uh, MEK to hold it together, put it in place. And there you go, a little MEK to tack it down and then I'll seal it off with some Fowler Expert. I like the Fowler Expert because it has styrene in it and it performs a little filling action. It's sort of like gap filling uh, CA or something like that. It'll actually make a fillet uh, or a rounding of the corner and it will fill in any gaps and, and seal off the enclosure very well. After I take it out of the clamps I might even put some more Fowler Expert on it just to make sure. Mm -hmm.